Hello everyone, welcome back, thank you for joining us. In part 2 of our learning series, we're going to continue developing the ground floor for our project example. As we have seen in our previous video, we have learned how to create these basic walls by using a single vertex and extrude it along the blueprint reference. And in this video, we're going to continue developing the windows and also the floor and the ceiling. So to create the windows, let's look at our project reference images. We can see that there are a few windows that seems like they are in the same shape. So let's see if we can create one of them and then copy them to the rest of the same places that we have in our blueprint. So I'm going to choose this wall and the next wall to it and isolate it. Then we're going to choose the edges or first let's join them together. Basically joining in Blender is the same thing as attaching let's say for example in uh, 3D Max or in any other platform. So Ctrl J to join them together and let's select the edges by going into edit mode and choosing by number 2 as a shortcut the edges and selecting them. Now we're going to make a copy of these by pressing shift and D and dragging by the mouse and then right click to snap it back and then pressing on B to separate it. So if we go back to the isolation mode and isolate these edges we can see now that we have the edge reference for the window. So if we go to the front view first we need to make sure that the vertex are all connected and we don't have any double vertex or anything. So I'm gonna select all the vertex and right click and then merge vertex by distance let's say for example by 0.01 we can see immediately that we have removed two vertices next we want to move this origin to the center of this edge shape to do that we can actually enable a free add-on that is already installed inside blender you just need to enable it which is called precision drawing tools if you enable this uh, add-on can find it by going to the shortcut if we press an N enable the shortcuts we can see that's inside the BDT design operation after selecting the vertex so let's say for example that we want this uh, the cursor the 3d cursor to move to the center of these two points then we can move the origin to that 3d cursor location so there is a selection of where you want to put let's say for example the 3d cursor next we're going to press on the use percentage play placement and then the cursor will be in the middle of these two uh, vertices then we're going to move to the edge or basically to the object set origin origin to 3d cursor we first need to choose the object sorry about that so origin to 3d cursor now we have the origin of that shape in the middle uh, between these two vertices. Next we need to extrude these edges inside to create the window width then extrude it uh, in depth. So to do that we need to offset these edges inside. If we follow the, say, the, the original technique of Blender to insert it, you can see immediately that these edges are extruded unevenly. And to solve this, there is a free add-on that is created by Hidisato. And when you download the add-on, it will be uh, downloaded as a zip file. And then you can install it directly from the add-on by pressing install and then selecting the add-on. And it will be installed. And when you enable it, you just select these edges and control E. Then we're going to go to offset extrude and immediately you'll see that the uh, edges are extruded evenly. So I'm gonna extrude it with a value of let's say for example 0.06 and then next we're gonna need to extrude them and create that depth of the frame. So I'm gonna select the edges and extrude it and on the y-axis so let's say 0.06 and then we can create for example let's say uh, a small detail on the corner of the, this frame to make it look like it, they are actually welded together on something so let's create just a simple uh, gap between them 
I'm gonna go into uh, wireframe mode by pressing on Z choosing the wireframe and then again choose the object edit mode and select the edges let's select all of these uh, edges and let's create a bevel uh, value for them so when we create the bevel again you will see some undefined uh, bevel values created on the left side and this is basically because the normals of this shape is not actually equal and to enable the orientation to see if the normals are correct you basically go to the viewport overlays and choose the face orientation and the blue one represent the correct normal orientation and the red one basically represent the wrong one so we're gonna go to edit mode and select again the faces and then we're gonna go to the mesh normals and flip so now we have our normals correctly flipped and now we can do the bevel correctly so again let's go to wireframe number one as a front view select all the edges control B and now we have our bevel values correctly so I'm gonna just zoom in to find the correct value so let's put it for example at 0.05 maybe less than that we just need to really hardly see it I think maybe less than that again 0.02 okay so then we're gonna extrude it inside so I'm gonna press again on one select the extrusion by pressing left click and pressing and then choose extrude along normals when you do that you can see that immediately it's extruded inside so let's bring the value a little bit up maybe even less than that and that's it so we're gonna go to the object mode exit the isolation go to the solid we don't need the orientation anymore so now we have our window frame created let's create the glass while we are so I'm gonna choose an edit mode this edge control R to create uh, a ring connection and right click and then shift D again right click to snap it back and P to select it. and then I'm gonna choose that glass frame and again select all let's isolate it first select all the vertex right click merge the vertex by distance and we have removed almost like 12 vertices so now we can press on uh, F to uh, create the face then we can extrude it by let's say for example 0.05 for example and that's basically it we have our glass glass so we're gonna copy this along the same locations I first let's move it inside a little bit and then shift D X axis then snapping to that point so we're gonna keep copying them to this, uh, to this location and the other location that have the same window glass next we're gonna create the window frame on this side if we again look at our image references and this image specifically we can see that there's a metal frame around this whole area so to do that we're gonna also create that frame using another technique by drawing a shape and then convert this shape into a curve basically I have created two shapes the same way we have used before like a vertex and then extrude it let's say for example that this will represent two windows panel will go along this path and the other path and this is the frame that's gonna this shape is gonna go extruded along this path make sure after you create that shape let's say for example we're gonna create just a simple thing here to create to under to explain this idea so if we created this, that shape just make sure you choose the, uh, the the shape and then hit F3 convert into a curve so you can get the properties that we're gonna create that shape from it so let's delete this and go to that frame and then we're gonna go to object data properties and to the bevel object select 
that shape and you will get your uh, bevel profile represented in that shape make sure to understand that this shape that you have created is affected by the orientation of that profile so for example if I choose this shape and rotate it you can see that the basically the bevel profile shape is affected by it next we're gonna create the floor by also following another techniques that inside blender let's say for example we have the floor and we also need to deduct that floor from the bathroom from it to do that we're gonna need to bring these two shapes together so I'm gonna delete this for now and then bring that shape again isolate these two shapes make sure that they are on the same level so selecting them and then control J and again select all the vertex hitting alt and F will create a 3d shape or a 2d shape that can be again extruded into 3d so now we can extrude this shape let's say for example by 0.1 centimeters which is equal to what we have before on this side let's unhide everything by pressing alt and H so we have our floor the same thing will go for the ceiling so if we have let's say for example we snap that 3d cursor here and again let's add a single vertex and I extrude it quickly to all the other sides isolate select these two vertex F and then we can by going into edit mode select all the vertex we now have our ceiling so now that we have this specific shape basically we need also the inside uh, floor here which I by mistake have deleted it let me bring it back so now that we have prefer prepared this uh, level of details for the ground uh, floor we need to now prepare it to unwrap it and then send it to Quixel Mixer so we can send it then to Unreal Engine the first thing we need to do before unwrapping this is that we need to create a material for each uh, separate uh, object the floor the walls and the metals and the other stuff also as well so to do that we need to create a material for each one of them so I'm gonna create a new and let's name for example this as wall let's just give it a color we don't need to create any textures because we're gonna do that inside uh, Quixel mixer so I'm gonna choose all the walls we're gonna join them all together so we can uh, assign the material to them all so I'm gonna control J by copy material to select it now if we go into this shading mode viewport shading we can see now that we can preview our material so we need to prepare the other objects as well so let's have our metal so after separating all the objects with the separate materials such as the internal walls the ceiling the floor the external walls we need to join them all together to start to start unwrapping the object and send it to quicksum so before that let's just uh, convert this to a mesh so we can merge it with the other so now it's a mesh we're gonna select them all Control J and now they are all joined together next we're gonna go to the UV editing and now we can select our object and download also a free add-on tool that will create really nice it's basically text tool this text tool uh, I'll give you the link in the description once you download it pressing N here you'll find that there is a few options and this add-on that will help you unwrap your objects quickly and adding also uh, a color ID for each object there are different ways to create the color ID inside blender this is one of them and what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna choose what uh, how many colors do we have so I think we have more than five so we can increase it let's say for example to uh, seven for example 
let's change this into a different color and then select all uh, the objects and hit U to unwrap it and choose smart UV object so project sorry so also deselect the correct aspect press OK now we have our full joint object unwrapped and then we're gonna choose to convert this from a material to anything basically just to get the material ID so we can send it to Quixel Mixer so I'm gonna choose a size of let's say for example 4k and let's increase also uh, the baking quality let's make it for example as 4x and we're gonna choose the preview texture uh, let's say for example as a material ID and let's press and bake so after the baking have finished this is what we get a material ID for our object where we can save that image as let's say for example PNG without any compression and then go to the layout and export also our object as OBG make sure you select only the object to export it then we're gonna go to Quixel Mixer and start our material workflow we have our project where we have created earlier and then we're gonna create a new mix let's name for the this as an example GF uh, ground floor the resolution you can choose whatever resolution you prefer to work with based on your computer performance but uh, remember that you can change this resolution during your workflow so it doesn't actually matter which resolution you're gonna choose at the beginning so in this video we're gonna just focus on importing our object and see how we can deal with the material id and assign the material in our next video we're gonna go into detail and in how to use the quixel mixer with this object so the basic layout of the quixel mixer is composed of the viewport where you can set up the layers and import your object and also export the materials along with other stuff like the performance and lighting settings the local library where you have can see the material that you have downloaded and the online library which is free thanks to epic games and quixel to provide it for us for free so inside the viewport we're gonna go to the 3d uh, custom mesh actually import our ground floor and immediately you can see that we have imported our ground floor so unfortunately we didn't give the ceiling any depth that's why it came uh, with this error but other than that, all the others imported correctly inside uh, the Quixel Mixer. And then next, we're gonna go to the base layer, and from the material ID, we're gonna load our material ID. So after importing our material ID, you'll immediately see the colors that we have chosen earlier. So just to give you an idea of how things gonna go we're gonna choose a basic let's say for example a basic material that will represent the exterior wall we're gonna go again into more details about this in our next video so if you have chosen let's say for example a basic material like that all you need to do for this specific material we're gonna add a material ID from this button so again we're gonna go to the material ID and then press Q which is gonna give you a picker to choose which color you want this material to be applied to. So once we press, for example, for the blue color, we can immediately see that we have chosen only the exterior color. Let's apply another one, for example, just for the sake of demonstration. Let's say, for example, this wooden floor, which we're not gonna use, but just to demonstrate the idea. Again, let's apply the material ID, hit Q as a shortcut, and press on the green and then we have our floor have been chosen so this is the basic uh, workflow from blender to quixel mixer hope you guys enjoyed this video and in our next video we're gonna go into details again about this and if you have any question please share it down in the comments thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video